What's up, people? My name is Jeffrey Kaminsky, and I'm a wrestler at Ohio Wesleyan University. Go, go, go. There we go. There you go. Go get it. Go get it. But tomorrow, I'm going to be a strong man. I've always been a fan of Strongman, but I've never actually had the chance to compete. Right now, I'm about to go drive up there, so I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Two hours later. Alright, people, we just finished weighing in. These guys had a three pound allowance, so I didn't really even have to be on weight. Throw down in the rust belt. Alright, so here we are just warming up with the farmer's walk implements. Now these are a lot shakier than what I practice with, so I was just trying to get used to that because like each step it is jostling around in your hands, trying to make sure you don't drop them. So now we're off of the actual farmer's walk event. The first event of the day, we've got to carry 265 pounds in each hand, down 50 feet, get over the line, and then bring them back. Doing good up until here, and then I'm about to drop it. It slips right out of your hand. The handles on these are really slick. Chalk made it even worse. Got over the line, turned around, ready to go. These things were really heavy. Like you see these strong men walking around with huge straps and just not surprised after doing it. Even the guys who did finish the course relatively fast were still struggling with these, even a little slow. At this point, my grips shot there's nothing else I can really do just trying to in get as many inches as I can and that the struggle ended up uh, carrying the handles 92 feet out of the 100 foot course all right people so the farmers walk is a lot harder than I expected we got pretty far to finishing pretty close this way, bring figure eight straps. As you can see, I tore that callus clean off, but I got plenty more in my hands, so I'm not gonna let that bother me as I start warming up for the next event, which is the cleaning press medley. So for the cleaning press medley, we're gonna have three implements, which are the barbell, the axle, and then the log. All of which are 245 pounds. After you get one of them up over your head, you get the down command, you'll go on to the next one. And you can do the blog for reps, but I don't know who was doing that. That thing was heavy. The thing that I'm doing to get the bar into my back is called a Steinborn squat. Which is what people used to do before they had squat racks. They'd do this to get the bar on their back. Most guys were just cleaning pressing it. But into a front rack position and then putting it over their head. My shoulders aren't in the position where I can do that yet. So I keep working on it. Now we get all the way up to the log. Which this is like my third time actually touching a log. So this is going to go great. First clean doesn't really happen. Just get a readjust, prepare myself mentally to pick up this heavy thing. And I end up getting this clean. As you can see, I'm not in a position to press this thing. Like I try to get a dip and drive and I, rec I recognize it's not gonna go anywhere. Guys, just finished the clean and press medley. Rock the, the barbell and the axle as practiced. I haven't done a log before, so I'm happy I got the clean, but I didn't get the press. I gotta practice that, and the next time I do a strong wind show, I'm definitely gonna get it. So I'm not gonna lie, I almost lost the axle, but I got an early down command, so I'm happy. The third event of the day was the carry medley, in which you carry a heavy sandbag 50 feet down, run back, and do the same thing of a heavy keg, run back, and then drag a heavy sled across the whole thing. Now, actually picking up the sandbag is the hardest part for me right here. I just couldn't really grab around it once I got it up into my arms, I could really get going with it. Flop that thing down, and ran back to the same thing at the keg. And this um, man here, right here, is door not a window, Evan Singleton, you know, he's one of the world's strongest man competitors. He's a cool dude, but he's just taking up the camera, I don't really appreciate that. Same thing with this dude, Sean Shoemaker, the event host. That dude's traps are fucking massive. Now we're on to the final thing, just pulling the sled back, all ATG style, you know, but my legs are fried after this, I'm not going to lie. Go, 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 like, after a wrestling match, you think you're tired, this was terrible. As far as the carry medley went, pretty satisfied. 
couldn't wrap all the way around the sandbag, but we still got it across the line, so can't complain. Now on to the fourth event, which is one that I'm probably most happy with, which of course is the deadlift. Going into this, the heaviest I've ever pulled was 500 just for an easy single. I was hoping to get 525 for one to three reps, depending on how I felt. And I ended up pulling three reps, which is not only a new one rep max, but also a three rep max, apparently. I also think I could have grinded out another rep or two, but I started to feel a little twinge in my side in the third rep. I don't know if I'm secretly herniated or something, but all I do know is my deadlift is going up. Alright, so this stuff all over my hands and forearms is called tacky, which is basically just sticky tree sap that strong men put on their hands and forearms to make things easier to pick up, which is going to be useful going to the next event, which is the Atlas Stone. We're just going to have to lift it over a 56 inch bar. You get three attempts, three choices, depending on which weight you want to do. Just jump in whenever you're ready. This is literally my first day ever touching them, so I just started, I just decided to start light to see what I could get. 221 off, really easy, so I go up to 260. Now, honestly, this one was really light. If I had more practice with this, I could definitely get at least a 280, probably over 300 pound stone relatively soon. All right, so the show's done. The last event was Atlas Stones, first time ever touching him, so I just got some weights that I could for sure get. This is a really fun day. I'm definitely gonna do this again in the future. So yeah, people, that was my first strongman competition. Now I'm just gonna take some time to compare and contrast uh, the two sports of strongman and wrestling and talk about how I did. So I competed in the 220 men's open division, which means that anyone under 220 pounds and whatever age can compete. They had a teen division and what's called a novice division, which is basically just you, it's your first time. You can sign up and just do that. You get a little lighter weights. I didn't choose to do that. I chose to go in the open division just to give myself an extra challenge. And I still did decently well. I got, what was it, fourth in a 220 pound class. There might have only been five people, but we're not going to talk about that. Still, like most of the events, I was still competing with most of the other guys and I was still only like this much behind on some of those things. I mean, I can, their guys are like 20, like late 20s and 30s and I'm here in 19. Like I got a bunch of time to keep developing in this sport. If I keep doing it, I'm definitely going to go somewhere someday. Now onto the weigh-ins and I got to say strongman's is definitely a little more lax on their weigh-ins because you know wrestling, if you're just point one over, you're, you're kind of fucked. Whereas here, you show up, you get a three pound allowance and you get night before weigh-ins. I don't think you understand what we would do to have that at the college level for wrestling. That would be very nice. But so, stuff a little more chill. That's kind of the vibe you're going to get as we get to talk about the community. Of course, both strongman and wrestling have a really great community. You know, if you see somebody in the street wearing a Rudis shirt, if you go up and talk to that dude, you're going to have a great conversation. But the thing is, when you're actually at like a tournament, that's when things change. Because you're just... You're, it's different. You're not there to be friends. You're there to compete and you're there to win and beat someone else and impose your will upon them. Whereas in strongman, it's more, we're all kind of, you know, we still want to win, but you're competing together against the weights moreover. So like guys are more willing to help you out, give you technique tips, or even like guys like gave me tacky and stuff or, you know, the first time getting into this and they're still trying to give me technique tips and stuff and help me out. Whereas in wrestling, it's more cutthroat when you're actually going to a tournament. While we still would have that same kind of vibe just on the street somewhere, it's not always the same when you're actually competing, which is definitely cool to see in this sport. Now into how my body felt like the, the next day after this. You know, if a wrestling tournament, your neck is pretty sore, same with your legs and your your soul kind of hurts. Or this, I kind of felt, I felt good after. But, like, my lats, biceps, and traps were the sorest that they've ever felt. Which, yeah, it kind of sucks. But in my mind, that only means that if you train like this more regularly, that it's just going to build those things up. That's why you see the strong amount of traps that are up to here. But, yeah, I definitely think that training like strong man is actually going to be more beneficial for any sport, specifically combat sports like us, where you're going to be lifting up people, which isn't always going to be in the best like position to lift something. You know, like a barbell is designed to lift as much weight as possible. 
where like a sandbag, the sand's jostling around or a farmer's walk or sliding around in your hands. You have to constantly adjust and stuff and work your muscles in new ways that you wouldn't get. And that's kind of what we're doing. We're going to pick someone up and throw them around. They're not just going to stand there, be nice and easy to lift up. They're going to be moving around and resisting where training like this might actually be better and build strength in those kind of positions a lot more efficiently, which is cool to see. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep some more strongman stuff in my training just to build that odd object strength. But now that this show is over, my priorities are going to shift a little bit. I'm going to focus more on wrestling and start cutting down a little bit because I still need to make my weight class. And I'm not exactly 197 pounds right now. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and it's your first time here, consider subscribing. I don't really care. But I will be posting more regularly throughout the summer. And I actually mean it this time. But I'll see you guys then.